Hello. In this part of the course, we will discuss precision trueness and accuracy. This is a very large part of a validation procedure and is also complex um, to, uh, to do. And this very small introduction will give a small overview of all these terms and how they are related to each other. When you think about doing a validation, you have your one single analytical result and you would have to find with the validation procedure how to find precision, trueness and accuracy. And also the question is how do we evaluate them and how do we quantitatively express these three very different parameters. And the start is that we would do replicate measurements of our analytical sample and then we can characterize those replicate measurements differently. The first way is to find standard deviation and with that standard deviation we can characterize precision. Precision has three different parts, repeatability, intermediate precision and reproducibility. And these are given more detailed information about in the, in the part of precision. The most important large picture of the precision is that it gives us information about the random error. And this is important when we want to do accuracy. There's a second part that we need for accuracy and this is through trueness. And how do we get that is that when we analyze mathematically our parallel measurements, we can actually find the mean value. But the thing is that this mean value is somewhere different from our actual value. And this procedure of how to find this and how to estimate this is trueness. Trueness is one of the most complicated things to do during validation process and has multiple of steps and stages. And all these are given a more thorough insight in the later parts. But from this general picture, it is important that the trueness gives us information about the systematic error. And we can see from here that the systematic error and the random error gives us information about accuracy. And from the practical point of view, accuracy explained is expressed as uncertainty. So, in a nutshell, these are the three main terms that we need to con cover in the next chapters. And also in those next chapters, we'll give information how to evaluate them, how to quantitatively express them, and also some practical tips on calculations and how to set up your, your, your experiments in a laboratory. Thank <laughs> you.